We're at the Littleton Englewood Wastewater Treatment Plant uh, located in Englewood, Colorado. We treat sewage in the cities of Littleton and Englewood and 20 other connector districts. The effluent of the wastewater plant goes to the South Platte River, which eventually ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. Currently we have uh, five IQ sensor net systems with a total of about 50 probes. Probes varying from uh, DO all the way through to ammonia and nitrates. Our biggest use is in our aeration basins. We're monitoring uh, suspended solids, DO, ammonia, nitrate. We have an installation at our final effluent where we're also monitoring DO, ammonia, nitrate, conductivity, and temperature. I think it was about uh, 1999 or maybe 2000 that our existing DO probes uh, started malfunctioning. We couldn't get parts for them, so we decided to uh, trial several different instruments. We brought in, I think, five or six different uh, manufacturers' DO probes, and we lined them all up along the rail in an aeration basin for several months, and it, uh, the YSI was the most accurate and reliable probe, so uh, we chose the YSI system. Yeah, YSI products are, are really good for their compatibility with all their probes across their range. You can put 20 probes on one system. They plug and they play. Uh, the installation of the YSI IQ system was actually uh, relatively simple. You, you mount the control boxes, supply the power, run some cable out to the instrument uh, control box, and mount the probe, and pretty much ready to go. My favorite things about the uh, YSI IQ sensor net system is it's, it's relatively hands off. You get it set up, you do initial calibration, and, and then put it online. The data that comes in from the IQ sensor net system uh, feeds into our SCADA control system. We have several uh, installations where we're using the data in real-time control. Uh, we have dissolved air flotation thickeners where we apply polymer. We monitor the subnatant stream for suspended solids in real-time, and then that polymer doses is adjusted based on uh, drifting off of the set point. Uh, we're controlling dissolved oxygen in our aeration basins. Uh, we're controlling the amount of ammonia we bypass to our final effluent so that we can control our uh, uh, chloramine formation and get proper disinfection. The information uh, from the YSI system comes into our plant historian and then from there into our uh, HMI system. Some of the data is actually used for permit compliance. We uh, have a temperature re reporting requirement in our permit, and that uh, information comes directly off a YSI DO probe. The IQ sensor net system has uh, provided us the ability to increase our efficiency in several of our process areas. One of the things we do is return our centrate from our dewatered sludge, which is very high in ammonia, back to our aeration basins, and we like to keep uh, the ammonia level rather consistent. We want a big shock load, so we have an ammonia probe located in the aeration basin. Again, this feeds back to the HMI system and uh, ramps the centrate return pump up and down to hold that uh, set point level that we program in. We uh, recently installed a NitroViz nitrate probe in our inlet channel of our aeration basin. Uh, we had planned on installing an air cleaning device, but hadn't got around to it yet. Uh, we inspected that instrument today, expecting uh, you know, to be a lot of slime and maybe the eye was fouled, uh, but we were very surprised when we pulled it up after more than a week in service and the, uh, the glass eyes were totally clean. The ultrasonic cleaning system that was provided with the probe works very well. Wireside's ultrasonic cleaning system is the only product like that on the market. We found it very good in nasty water environments. I haven't found that in uh, other systems.